tomorrow. I always listen to Source about who to read for. Oh, okay, Carla. Um, what are you thinking about tonight? Any, anything in particular? Okay, you got it. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras. Personally, I love Libras. I met one that I don't like my whole life. They're awesome. Okay. Carla loved you. I feel led to open with the uh, Tarot Apocalyptus, Carla. Let's shake them up. Tara Love Team, Carla's here to play with us, my Libra friend. What you got to say? What you got to say, my lovelies? What you got to say? What you got to say? Carla. 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 First card out, Carla. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that, my Libra friend. That is the world card right there. Uh, couldn't be better with a major arcana movie spread, if you ask me. It clearly, clearly talks about a cycle has come to an end for you. Um, these can be very challenging cycles and, and could have been something that's gone on for a very long time, being a major arcana, right? This is 21. Uh, the next card is, it, it, you know, it's the fool's journey. It goes to the reset button. It goes to the fool uh, for a fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith. And, you know, this one does have the lovers on there, darling. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Yeah, for you, Libra. Look at that justice came out of that. Lordy. Lordy, now justice is a major arcana, and it is about uh, the gods getting involved um, and the scales falling in your favor. Powerful stuff right here. Um, the world card has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo on that right there. It may mean something to you, but you look amazing right there, darling. I like this for you. I like that card. It's gorgeous. All right. Justice. Justice coming in in the new world energy for you. Let's go. Let's go. Carla. Carla, my Libra friend, is a new world energy <laughs> filled with justice. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Oh, the magician came out again. Uh, this is the number one card. Um, Gemini. Virgo, Aries, Zodiacs are all connected with uh, the number one card, the Magician. Uh, for me, right, this is a card, it's my deliberate creator. And uh, uh, traditionally, they have all four aces on the table in front of them right there. I like this deck a lot. It's got a lot of fun stories in it. This is the wheel in the wheel right here. You know, it comes out of that book. You know, it's got the eyes of the gods or God or whoever that is. It's got seraphim, cherubim wings on there. You know, angelic activity, the eyes of the gods on you, the magician, tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine, my deliberate creator. It's, for me, it's about pure positive thought. Pure positive words and inspired actions. Definitely talks about a whole new world, maybe all around in your life. These are very exciting cards, to be honest with you. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Give me a couple more right here. Give me a couple more. I think I'm going to play with uh, the Tinker's Dam and see what the elders want to say to you as well. Looks like a new start as above, so below, justice. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Carla. Wow, another card about a fresh start, a new beginning. Uh, it's the Fool card. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. Uh, Aquarius, Aries, Uranus, 
sudden change. <laughs> oh, you got them all right here. You got them all right here. Look at this countdown. See, this is 21 in the Major Arcana, right? It all starts with the Fool's Journey, right? That's what the tarot is about. It's the Fool's Journey that goes through all 20, 22 Major Arcana. So it starts with a zero, ends with 21. 22 cards. And then this is the cycle again, right? Um, completing of a cycle, learning a lot of lessons, going forward into a new cycle. That's all right here. Uh, 21 to the zero, the reset, and then bam, to the one right here. And uh, this is the magician. It's the first visit um, from the fool um, on their journey back in, in a new... So this is manifesting all new, and it's, it's you. It's you. Your major arcana is here. This is really, really nice, especially if you've been going through a very challenging cycle. And you may have with justice on your board right here, but definitely about things getting better. Give me one more. Give me one more. One more for my Carla. My Carla. My Libra. What we got right here? Oh. It's a hermit. Um, it's a Virgo card. I like I I I like this deck. Because, well, it's not often where you see, you know, divine feminine energy represented on the hermit card. But here you do. Here you do. And um, definitely looks like a high priestess to me, right? Maybe American Indian. Maybe American Eskimo. Um, but tuned in with a star right there. Again, it's a, it's a card of, um, for me, it's a card of the gods, Leading and guiding, see they're beating the drum right there. Leading and guiding you. There's a star right there that she is connected to. Leading and guiding you on a definitely new journey, man. It's, it's quite beautiful major arcanas that have come out here for you. Wow, maybe a new friend. That's uh, that's me. That's an emperor right there. <laughs> it's not the first time I saw him too. Anyway, maybe a new friend. Let's uh, let's play with the Tinker's Dam right here, because I feel that I'm channeling, you know, your ancestors. We could call them that, right? So let's see what the Tinker's Dam has to say right here for Carla. We got a new world. We got justice. We got the magician, a deliberate creator, as above, so below. A fresh start in the leading and the guiding of the divine on a new journey in life. So, get a little more clarity on this for Carla. Carla, about this new energy. What's that right there? What is that right there? Oh, this is two feathers. Now, traditionally, this is two swords, right? And I have a different meaning. I, I set my own meanings for this deck. It's 156 cards. This is two feathers. I put on here, uh, from darkness, aspiring to light. And from conflict, aspiring to balance. Look at that right there. Let's put that right there on justice. Two of feathers. From darkness, aspiring to light. And from conflict, aspiring to balance. That's breakthrough right there. Go, 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 my Libra. Go, my Libra friend. Carla. Carla. Here we go. Carla. Carla. Um, uh, a face card showed up. Hmm. Maybe a new friend. So that's fire. This is a fire king right here. Face card just showed up around there. What do you think about that? <laughs> there you go. I, I mean, I like all the kings. That's king of wands. Could be entrepreneur energy. I like him. He came out on the other side of two feathers right there. On justice. What do, you, what do you got for Carla? What's going on around here, please? These cards are excited, Carla. So am I. Let's see, what, let's see what's going on around here. What is this about? Another king just showed up. <laughs> Damn it. 
Damn it, that's the king of swords in this deck, or, or the king of air. That could be an ending right there. Look at this, look at these cards. Um, here we go, here we go, you know. Very interesting, maybe a new friend. You know, I don't know, I don't know how to, how to talk about that one. He said, you know, off of their blooming head right here. From darkness to light, from conflict to balance. You got two kings showed up around here. And an emperor, let me put that emperor out here on the board, because, yeah, that's divine masculine energy. Wow, well, you could have a new friend coming in around here. Oh, this jumped out too. It is a page of cups. Oh. <laughs> the page of cups. Bearing messages of great importance. <laughs> oh, that came out with this little king right here. You know, king of wands, you know. The good looking and exciting, charismatic, uh, fun to be with, all that kind of fun stuff. What is this? This jumped out too. Oh, wow, the muse of astrology. Again, this talks about planetary alignments for you. The power of thought, the magician right there, the power of thought, looking to the highest aims and spheres of nature and the divine to find the inner patterns that you seek. Oh, we got change going on around here, darling. We got change. We put that right there on that magician, huh? Give me a couple more right here for Carla, 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 baby. Carla, what's that? This, um, this is, uh, it's a, it's a muse card right here, but she doesn't look real happy. One who observes the passions of life, but hasn't seen them for themselves for a season. That's got to go over here in this whole world with this king of swords and, and, then, the, and then the two of feathers from darkness to light. There's a new pass. Come, there's, there's something new coming in here for you, my friend. I am excited for you. I want you to get your healing, get your rest, all this kind of stuff. Clearing a heavy energy right here. Clearing out some heavy energy, right? That, that could be, I don't know, more than one person, right? Oh, look. This is a Scorpio card right here. And uh, this, is a, this is a death card, right? Death and rebirth. Look at the onk of life in your hand right there. You look amazing. Death and rebirth has come out here. Is that doggone devil again? What the hell's going on around here, man? What the hell? The death card and the devil. It certainly says you are clearing some energy, maybe more than one. It's a huge cycle change for you, my friend. And who is this? It's that fire energy again. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho! Here I come to save the day! I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. It's that fire energy keeps showing up around. It certainly looks like this. <laughs> certainly looks like right there to me, huh? The old, the old king of wands right there. Wow. And, uh,. It came with a love offer or a, a bearing important messages, it says. And, and we're, yeah, we're going to talk with Source about that imagination, the power of thought. This says you're manifesting a whole new beginning for yourself and letting guided by the divine justice. So justice with all these, you know, there can be a sword dropping over here. Mm -hmm. Really, really powerful, my friend. All right, let's get another tarot deck out around here, huh? Huge change. Huge change. Looks like possibly a new friend. Possibly a new friend for you. Okay. 
I grabbed a the Gendron, the Gendron Tarot right here. That's the name of the artist that put this deck together. It's quite beautiful. Just a couple more right here. A couple more right here. What do you got to say? What do you got to say to Carla, my Libra friend? Clearing a heavy, heavy cycle. Beautiful, beautiful change for the better, my magician. Gendron, what do we got for Carla? It's another devil card. This one says the deceiver. I don't know, man. This is about breaking some serious chains. These all came out after this Scorpio card right here and this other card where she just do not look like she'd been happy, man, in life, man. I don't know why it keeps talking about this. Maybe you haven't cut these chains yet. Gendron. Gendron. I want to look at this beautiful energy up here. The magician to the fool, the leap of faith being led and guided by that beautiful, beautiful hermit card. And look, another fire card came out right here. A page of wands. Oh, well, oh, that's the prince. That's the knight of wands. So that's the great adventure right there. Hmm. You know, a lot of fire here, a lot of, a lot of stuff about a passion, a new beginning. Here we go. Here's five swords. Five swords is my card about standing up and doing what's best for you and putting yourself up in the front of the card of your own life, just like she is right there. Five of swords with all these devils, you know, that's my card of enough is enough. I call that card victory. Oh my God, five of swords, seven of swords, and tower. God, look at her, man. She's moving forward. She's leaving that ship behind, man. Tower, uh, Scorpio, Aries, change, change. Victory at any cost, five of swords. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Can I get, and, and there is just, there's a lot of fire energy on here. So, you know, with the, with the Knight of Wands, that's my great adventurer. And uh, we've got the, we got the uh, Major Arcana, Aries. We've got the King of Wands and this Mars card right here. You know, oh, oh, here I come. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh, the Dance of Change. The Dance of Change. Two of Pins. Oh, and the Ace of Pentacles is right there, too. Look at this beautiful Ace of Pentacles right here. Pulled an Ace, darling. An Ace, the cornerstone of Ten of Pentacles came out here for you. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. <laughs> this is Eight Cups. Eight Cups is about, and look at her, she's sitting there. There's two cups right here. You know, Eight Cups is about walking away from things that are no longer emotionally fulfilling. The Dance of Change. Eight Cups. Oh, 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 look at this. This is Six Cups right here. What a beautiful, beautiful energy. Kind of looks meditative, spending time with Source. It's a soulmate energy right here. This is a soulmate energy. As you can see here, oh, that's a dream catcher up there. Six of cups, look at eight of cups to six of cups. Well, maybe you know who this is right here, but it's anyway, even if you don't, um, that's a beautiful soulmate energy. And look at what's here, my friend. The 10 of cups came out in your spread. Once upon a time, there was Carla, and she lived happily ever after. Look at how this Eight of Cups is looking at these pictures right here. After Five Swords, 
After five swords, then we got eight cups. She's looking at the uh, dream catcher right there of six cups energy to ten cups, darling. Ten cups. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Let me give you a couple and see what Gabriel says right here. A huge shift of energy for you, my friend. A huge shift of energy. Absolutely beautiful. Give me something right here. For Carla. A couple of cards from the Gabriel Oracle. Could could continue with this message. Could could give you something else. Let's go. A couple right here. Here we go. Here we go. Carla. Wow, look at this. It says, ask for what you want. <laughs> That's Gabriel's horn right there. How'd you get Gabriel's horn? <laughs> Ask for what you want. Carla. Carla. Sensitivity came out. Sensitivity. Your sensitive feelings are your inspiration for your creativity. So, I mean, this is about being connected to your emotions, right? Sensitivity. Ask for what you want. And look at this right here. Stay true to yourself. That's a powerful read, my friend. And here's uh, the blessing of Mary. Let's, let's wrap it up with this, Carla. The blessing of Mary showed up in Gabriel's cards. The Blessed Mother, the Divine Source, right? The universe is helping you with your divine life purpose. Wow. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful read. Carla, thank you for the upgrade, my friend. I hope you enjoyed this read. May all your, may all your dreams come true, Carla. Love and light, my friend. Love and light. Wow, 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 wow. All right, all right, all right. Let's rock and roll. Let me see. Let me see, because I got some other people that threw up a banner or two during that right there. Oh, hi, Patricia. Oh, twin flame read, huh? Okay, my friend. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah those, those twin flames, male or female, you know. Who's ever divine masculine? They are the slow pony. You're an Aries. Oh, and he's a Libra. Okay. You got it. Thank you for grabbing a reading with me tonight. Little twin flame read. You got it. Pick up my toys around here. And Cora Brown is up. Cora Brown. Okay. Patricia, level two reading. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Cora. Cora, are you still in the house, Cora? If you are, um, oh, I thought that was so powerful, wasn't it, Carla? Thank you, thank you for a uh, level five membership. Get a nice full spread, man. Enjoy, enjoy it. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, my friend. Happy New Year. Hmm. Hey, Sherry, nice to see you tonight. Um, is um, is Cora Brown still in the house, Cora? If you're here. Say hi to me. Maybe what you'd like to look at. We've got a level two read for you. That is a major arcana. 
movie spread and we will clarify uh, all those majors with a full tarot deck. Cora Brown. All right, Cora, 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 love team, Cora Brown, level two reading for Cora. What do you got to say? What do you got to say to Cora, love team, Cora Brown, Cora Brown, Cora Brown, love team. All right, here we go. I got the Tarot Illuminati. Cora, here we go. Let's play some tarot. Cora, Cora, first card out. Tower. Aries, Scorpio on that. Uh, sudden change. Sudden change. We all know the tower, right? Um, the tower is definitely a card of contrast. It shows us what we don't want. Um, which uh, definitely sets us up to pull our energy back from what we don't want. My deliberate creators will realize what we don't want. We don't want to put any more energy into that. And uh, it can be used as a springboard to propel us into a whole new... There's a devil right there. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. There's a devil right there. Um, and it shows this character right here, and they are awakening to the fact that, see, this can be a person, a place, or a thing, um, but this character is realizing that they are connected to a toxic energy, could have been addictive at one time, but that's definitely, these are definitely cards about breaking chains that bind And, and, and that springboard springing us into a new direction. Oh, wow, that's right here. Uh, it's a Scorpio card of rebirth, um, awakenings, enlightenment, greater understandings. A rebirth right here. A rebirth. That's how I have to read that. Tower, breaking chains that bind... And a greater awakening, uh, Phoenix from its ashes, right there with uh, Gabriel blowing the horn of, you know, on a situation. Here we go. Here we go. Carla, Carla, very powerful cards for you so far this evening. Carla, Carla, a couple more right here, please. There you are, Carla. Oh, uh, excuse me, Cora. That's what I'm reading for. Cora. Cora, 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 Mike. The hermit came out. Big Virgo, Big Virgo. It's a, that's quiet time with source. It's healing. It's a rebirth energy. I see this as the divine, the gods, Cora, whoever that is to you, you know. Shining the lantern. And Gabriel, uh, bowing to judgment, judgment on a devil, a tower. Okay, man. And the backing of the divine on it right here, Cora. Uh, this card is also about planetary alignments lining up here for you, being led and guided by the divine. Healing. A lot of healing here. A lot of healing, Cora. It's quite beautiful, my friend. Let's go. Give me, give me one more right here for Cora. Cora. And it couldn't be a better card. Couldn't be a better card. We're going to throw some tarot on top of all this right here, Cora. And that is the fool card right there, right? The zero, the reset, the restart button. About a fresh start, a new beginning. See the fool right there? They just got shot out of the sun. They just got shot out of the sun. Uh, fresh start, new beginning, leap of faith. 
uh, childlike innocence, case around, around, whatever will be, will be definitely beautiful, beautiful breakthrough cards for you right here. So let's play. It's the Gendron. That's the name of the artist who put this together right here. The Gendron. All right, let's clarify here with the Gendron, love team. We, we got a tower on the devil. We got a rebirth energy, judgment. We got the hermit, healing, and then the fresh start and the new beginning. Beautiful, beautiful energy right here. Okay, give me some on the tower. Give me some on the tower for Cora Brown, Cora. Oh, the chariot came out. Ah, oh, big major arcana right there. We got to go. We got to go. Yeah, chariot on a tower. We got to go. Traditionally, right, the uh, chariot is leaving the city behind and uh, moving in a new direction towards victory. Uh, another major arcana came out on this spread. Big cancer, the chariot. On the tower. It's pretty clear, right? It's pretty simple tarot. We gotta go. Aye, aye, aye. We're out of here, Barney. Here we go. Give me some on the devil, please. The devil. Wow. Uh, <laughs> another major arcana in this beautiful deck. This is justice on the devil. Oh my goodness, man. Justice on the devil. You're pulling major arcanas right here. Queen of Wands is underneath that. Queen of Wands, I'm not sure what you're... Uh, but Queen of Wands energy knows their worth. They know how amazing that they are. And uh, <laughs> it's definitely your energy right there. About realizing how amazing you are. Right, Justice on the devil. Chariot on the tower, Queen of Wands energy. What we got? What's going on around here? Oh my goodness! Ten of Cups came out here. What what is Source leading you to? This came out on on Judgment. A beautiful, beautiful rebirth energy here, right? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is like the dream card for me, right? Uh, and, and look at Source looking at this right here. This is nice, man. This could be a very predictive energy for you, Cora. Ten of Cups on Judgment. <laughs> Give me some on the Hermit right there. Once upon a time, there was Cora. And <laughs> she lived happily ever after. And you know, that's... That, the tower shows us what we don't want. And when we go through towers, we shoot those rockets of desire up to our higher self. Letting higher self know what we do want. I see you putting an order in. I see you putting an order in right here. <laughs> here we go. Give me some on that beautiful, beautiful hermit. Hermit. Planetary alignments. Being led and guided by the divine. Ooh, look at this, man. A king showed up. Wow. This is the king of pinnacles right there, darling. Ah, the king of the world showed up. Queen of wands, king of pinnacles. Ooh, ten of cups, justice, chariot, and all that mess back there. These are absolutely getting sweet. They're getting sweet. Here we go. Give me some on the fool. Some on the fool around here. It's a hermit again. Major Arcana. Look at her. She looks like she's looking at a, a whole new world right there. Look at the, the eagle flying in the sky. Ooh, a lot of earth energy right here, possibly in the near future, huh? Look at these two cards. Now that is fun, man. I love the pictures. 
Look at how look at how happy she looks. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> These came out after that one right there. <laughs> they look happy too. And uh, that's Judgment, The Hermit, and The Fool card about a fresh start and a new beginning. What a fun spread. Carla, I hope you got something. Oh my goodness, I hope you got something out of this. This is Ten Pinnacles. This is Ten Pinnacles right there. You know, that's my uh, little white picket fence in my big pink house. Here's the dream. Here's you telling Source what you want. Here's you clearing energy. Letting Source know what you want. Following the leading and the guiding could be some healing right here to a fresh start and a new beginning, Ten of Pentacles. And I don't know, these pictures are just fun, aren't they? Huh? Anyway, Cora, may all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light, love and light. Okay, 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 okay. Sherry, my Sherry. There you are, Sherry, hello, my friend. Let's pull you a couple cards tonight, Sherry. It's a nice pull cards for you one more time tonight. Hey, Lulu, nice to see you tonight. 49 of you still hanging around around here. If you want to read with me, it's easily done. I'll let me get my cards up. It's easily done. If you want to read with me, 999 Super Chat. Uh, let me get that over here a little bit more. That may help. Yeah, that did. 999. One time Super Chat, take all my payments through PayPal. PayPal. Take all my payments through YouTube. <laughs> right there in the super chat. $9.99 will get you about an 8 to 10 minute read with me tonight. Of course, the best way is to hit that join button. You tell me how long I spend with your reading once a month. Every month. huh? You can get a reading for as little as $6.99. You also get in on Wednesday nights and Saturday nights, the giveaways. Uh, last Wednesday, I gave away The Crow to one of my friends. I'm going to be giving away another tarot deck Saturday night. And um, we do all kinds of fun stuff over there. And uh, Or all my members, if you ever catch me live, right? We have an opportunity to catch me live. Check that super chat area and see if you have a milestone marker available. Just click it, put it up on the screen. My Sherry. Sherry, what are you thinking about tonight, my friend? What are you thinking about? Sherry Shoe. We're going to do you a uh, Major Arcana movie spread, Sherry. Thank you, Soggy. Whatever comes through, you got it, Sherry. Nice to, nice to see you tonight. Hope all is well in your world. I have the uh, Elemental Wisdom, 22 Majors right here. Sherry, love team. Let's pull a couple cards for Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> Sherry. Sherry. What we got? Here we go, Sherry. First card out. Oh, the Hierophant showed up. Taurus. The old Pope of the Tarot deck right there. Not sure when a powerful card like that comes out first. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what majors come out. Um, it is a card of wisdom. You know, life, life wisdom, spirituality. It is a card of a teacher. Let's see what's going on with the Hierophant. Hierophant. Hierophant energy showed up. Sherry. Sherry, 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 Sherry. 
and the high priestess. Wow, we have the high priest and the high priestess. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Uh, this is Pisces, Cancer. My priestess of the moon, keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. These two, uh, these two are the are the are are the are the partners, right, in the five D, right, in the lineup of the major arcana. It goes the high priestess two, then it goes the empress, then it goes the emperor, and then it goes the hierophant. These are very powerful energies, generally in the 5D. High Priest and High Priestess has showed up around here. Sherry. Here's a magician. Gemini, Virgo, Aries. As above, so below energy, right? That's why it stopped me right there. Wow, what is this? <laughs> you know me, I'm always looking for pairings. The magician showed up. And for me, the magician is Mercury. Um, it's my deliberate creator. I believe we create what we think and what we feel and what we believe. So that's pure positive thoughts and pure positive words and inspired action. This story could be coming to the earthly plane. You know, because like I said, the high priest and the high priestess, they are on the outside of the emperor and the empress. The emperor and the empress is 3D energy. Wow, these are interesting too. I got a cancer card right there, the chariot. And I got my earth angel. This is temperance right here. Temperance. Uh, <laughs> I, you know, this could be a love story right here, darling. The magician to the chariot. It's forward movement. They seem to be no, you know, this, this story looks like uh, the chariot's coming in here from my earth angel who's been very patient. Traditionally, this is Michael, right? Uh, Michael, the archangel, mixing cups. Oh, darling. <laughs> Let's pull a couple of love cards on here, huh, Sherry? What do you think about all this, man? You may have a love story coming... Coming, 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 barreling down the street here soon, my magician. Here we go, here we go. Let's see, let's get a love card on this. Why not, huh? Sherry, Sherry. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey. Oh, that says passion, darling. <laughs> Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Look at a cut right in there. You deserve love. Oh, what is going on around here, Sherry? Wow, 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 wow. Uh, that font, if you can't read it with this ancient card, it says, new love, darling. New love. You deserve love. <laughs> oh, my goodness, there's divine timing. Let me get the angels the right way. Divine timing showing up around here. Oh, look at all this. Oh, Sherry, passion, you deserve love, new love, and uh, feel worth waiting for right here, darling. Anyway, what a fun, fun, fun spread. Sherry, may all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light, love and light. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. Andrea Murray, Andrea, Andrea, are you in the house? Okay, I like that spread for you, kid. You know, <laughs> if we're gonna pull, if we're gonna play with tarot, may it look like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the gods seem to have a plan for you.
All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Andrea Murray. Andrea, are you still here? If you are, uh, my Aquarius friend, we got a level two read for you. A level two read from my Aquarius friend, Audrey. Friend. Let's shake these up right here. Here's my Tarot Illuminati. We'll start with that. Give you a give you a major arcana movie spread. We'll clarify it. There's a tarot deck. Audrey, my Aquarius friend. Here we go. First card out. Oh. Your fool card showed up. That's about fresh and new. Oh, what's going on around here? <laughs> you know, uh, with a little doggy right there. Look out, look out. You're about to step off the love cliff. <laughs> oh, the fool about a fresh start, a new beginning, a leap of faith and a new direction. It's the restart button right here, Audrea. You're one of your one of your major arcana. That's that that's that's your that's your planetary card right there. Uranus. You know, planning a sudden change. Here we go. Here we go. Andrea, my Aquarius friend. A moon came out. Wow. Divine feminine energy. Um, I wonder if you, I want, there's a lover's card, kid, ooh, there may be, there may be a choice here for you, huh, big Gemini's major showed up, the lovers, and then the moon card right here, that's the smoky trail, right, <laughs> In, in hopes that the sun's going to shine on that smoky trail one day. You know, it's, it's divine feminine energy. And we got the lovers that showed up. Lovers, is, you know, it's about choice, possibly. There is a divine masculine energy here. An emperor. Wow, this is a four. This is about stability. You may have a choice. You may have a choice right here. I don't know if you're on the smoky trail. You know, my Aquarius friend. <laughs> you may have been on a smoky trail here for a while. And on the other side of the lover's card is, a, is an emperor. And that emperor, for me, is a four. That's a lot of stability right there. Give me one more right here. Give me one more, and we're going to play some tarot on this. My Aquarius friend, Audrey. Oh, a star came out, darling. Oh, look at this emperor right here. Oh, this is so fun, man. Look at this emperor right here. They came out on the other side of the lovers, which was, you know... On the other side of, um, um, it's a moon card. It's it's woman's intuition, right? It's lady's intuition, right? And the fool, the fool, sudden change. The fool could be jumping in a new direction. I want to show you this emperor right here. We're gonna pull some tarot cards. Could be a new friend. Look at him right there. They they be looking at a new world right here. They be looking at this Aquarius card. Um, about dreams coming true and healing. And uh, this, this earth angel right here seems to be looking right back at this emperor right here. It's in the 3D. 
ooh, this is about somebody who got their eye on you, to say the very least, man, sees you as the star. You may be leaving an old smoky trail behind here in the near future, my friend. Let's play some tarot on it. Let's play some tarot on it. I got the uh, the gilded, the gilded right here. The gilded tarot royale. Let's shake it up for a minute. Shake it up around here. For Audria, my Aquarius friend. We got a fool, to the moon, to the lovers. Big Emperor showed up staring at a beautiful, beautiful star card right there, my Aquarius friend. All right, all right, love team. Give me some on this fool card, this fresh start, new beginning. Oh, a Knight of Pentacles, a Knight of Pentacles. I like the Knight of Pentacles myself. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is, well, it's the only knight that can go all the way to the star energy right here. Could be a new friend showing up around here for you. There's Earth that showed up. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. Or possibly you're leaving a slow pony behind. Give me more on that, please. Very interesting right here. I see change. <laughs> Queen of Swords to a slow pony. <laughs> well, if there's a slow pony in your life, uh, <laughs> that sword's looking pretty sharp these days. Look at the slow pony. Looks like the uh, <laughs> moving on. The slow pony, the moon, right? Hope the sun would come one day. Queen of Swords is that kind of energy of, well... A little cold and detached on the outside. <laughs> uh, 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 look at this. Oh, what's this about, man? What's this about? Look at that. That's four cups right there. That's four cups right there. Oh, that could be a new offer. It's what it's talking about. Taking a look. Taking a look. Because, you know, traditionally, if you read this book, these are all empty. You know, past, present, projected, future, and love, all empty, but, oh, oh, hi, Source. <laughs> What's in that cup? Oh, that came out of the lovers right there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, uh, there's a cut right there, and they stopped me. It's a page. It's a page of cups. This is about this is about a new offer. Oh, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for you. And then the beautiful, beautiful emperor can't keep their eyes off the star. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Give me some on this emperor. Give me some on this emperor right here. Here we go. Andrea. Oh, oh no. Um, it talks about this past energy right here. See, five pinnacles. Baby, please don't go down to New Orleans because it says you may cut a slow pony out of your life that's been leading you down a smoky trail. And then we got, you know, five of pinnacles. Uh, you know, I, I'm feeling left out in the cold. And, uh, and uh, it could say this is the lightning pony. This is the lightning pony. You know, I got something to say. I got something to say. Baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. You know, I love you so, baby. Please don't go. Well, I'm shaking these out. I like this energy right here. Here we go. Out, out, out. That's a breakup card. This is a chariot. That's a chariot. About, you know, traditionally coming out of that old city right there. Heading on a new path. Nice stuff right here. Give me something on this beautiful, beautiful emperor that can't keep their eyes off the star. Choices, choices, choices. Choose wisely, my friend. Oh, <laughs> I love tarot. Darling, ten cups just showed up around here. Ten cups showed up when I'm pulling cards on this emperor right there. That's the happy ever after. I'm telling you, man, whoever this is right here, man, 
I can say it, man. They, they, they be looking goo goo gaga. <laughs> they be looking goo goo gaga right here. And uh, it's, it's a love offer coming in here for you, my friend. You, you know, you may not be rushing into it right here, but uh, somebody can't take their eyes off the star, darling. Once upon a time, there was an emperor, and they want to live happily ever after. <laughs> Give me one more right here. Give me one more, my beautiful, 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 beautiful star. Well, Queen of Wands came out. I like Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands knows her worth, um, uh, recognizes uh, how, how, oh my goodness, and the Emperor, well, the Queen of Wands knows how amazing that they are, knows their worth. That's a nice match right there, if you ask me. A lot of passion. <laughs> a lot of passion. Oh, look at, look at the eight wands. Eight wands, keep it there in love. Wow. That's the sun. That's the sun right there. <laughs> My Aquarius friend. Eight wands to the sun. I got an emperor, the beautiful queen of wands. You may have some fire in your chart, but you know. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy right there. Beautiful, beautiful energy. About knowing what you want and going and getting it. Anyway, I hope you got something out of that. Wow. Go. Go, my Aquarius friends. <laughs> love and light. Love and light. Andrea. All right. Serenity. Serenity. Let's pull you a couple cards tonight, my friend. Are you still in the house? If you are, say hi to me, my Aries friend. Serenity. Okay. Well, let's play with Tinker's Dam then, huh? Let's see what Tinker's Dam has to say for my Aries friend. Serenity. Tinker's Dam, an ancestor's read for serenity, please. Yeah. All right, I only want to channel serenity's love team. Only those that love serenity, only those that love serenity can speak through me. Thank you, love team, for it. All right. Serenity. Serenity, my Aries friend. Ancestor spread. Let's... First and foremost, the legend card came out. So, I mean, this definitely says that the gods think very highly of you, okay? The legend came out. And um, in the text down here, there's a bunch of text on here. I won't read it all to you. This is uh, supposed to have been the character that uh, put the Tinker's Dam together, 156 cards. And um, it has a, it ha down here in the font, it finally says that Augustus walked out of his workshop and was never seen again. And then here came five cups with that, right? Um, the River of Tears, um, these two sugar babies right here are the two, the two cups in this five cups right here. So we got a little bit of, um, well, they call you a legend right here. And they definitely point out the two cups. You may have let a situation go. Could be a person, a place, or a thing. Let's see what's going on. They definitely got two cups here on your spread. And they definitely are highly, highly pleased with you. They called you the legend. 
Serenity. 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 Oh, look at this right here. Uh, this is my ancestor's card. It, it calls it the Upper Heavens. Yeah, the larger picture of the universe and the connectiveness of all things. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, I got a bunch of aces that have just showed up around here. Yes, I do. There's three aces right here. An ace of pentacles. All earthly powers are in your hand. Creation, stability, and grounding. That's a beautiful ace of pentacles right there. It seems to be coming from the gods for you. Aces, there's three of them right here. This is the ace of air. It's my barometer ace with this uh, deck right here. Intellect, philosophy, logic. And it shows like a storm down here, right? It's a barometer, and then it shows the blue skies up here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come in agreement with you. We're going to go ahead and turn this from the storms to the blue skies. Here we go. Bam! Right there. Turn that up. And one more ace right here. An ace of earth. And that shows like all the cogs and the flywheels and the gears of life all lining up. Yeah, practical and financial affairs. The, all three of these aces came behind uh, your ancestor's card right there. They called you the legend. You may have let a situation go. This is a Gemini card right here. This could be these two cups right here in the near future for you. Or it could be sugar babies that are in your world. Um, but it is a Gemini card. It was sitting there as well. I want to do just a couple more right here. Could be a nice connection, right? It shows these same sugar babies, which are the two of cups in this that old river of tears right there. That's a five. It's about change. A bunch of aces showed up. And then this Gemini card seems to be matching those two cups right there. Oh, and look at the beautiful, beautiful Empress right here. Oh, the Empress came out. A major Arcana. Um, creativity and potential. Uh, this is a this is a Venus card about love and abundance. This is a huge shift for you energetically. Look at this card right here. See the woman and the two sugar babies having a rough day. Is this the woman and the two sugar babies in the near future? Looking amazing. I call this the Garden of Eden, right? It's Venus. It's love and abundance. And we got three aces for you right here, kid. Three aces, all about new beginnings. An ace of pinnacles, an ace of an ace of air. Oh, you got two ace of pinnacles. You got an ace of earth and the ace of pinnacles uh, from the uh, upper heavens. All right, beautiful. I love the empress. I love the shift in your energy right here. Um, you know, I mean that that Gemini card. It can talk about a new pairing as well, but definitely a breakthrough. Garden of Eden energy on here for you. Mm -hmm. Having access to, oh, this is it, man. Having access to and knowledge of the inner workings, the cogs, the gears, the flywheels of life, the universe, and all of its manifestations. This is what's coming in here for you, darling. Breakthrough, breakthrough, downloads. Yeah. Get tuned in right here. Get tuned in. I don't know. That could be a new pairing, but definitely a breakthrough all around for you. Um, 
as a high priestess. Um, intuition. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Intuition, psychic abilities, priestess of the moon, keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. It's so Persephone's, right? She came up out of Hades right here. If you read those old mythologies, she came up out of Hades and heading over here, you know, to the land where the Empress lives, Venus, love and abundance, by this pairing card right there. And, oh, the flying tigers are here. Look at this. Cupid's arrows of love. This is eight wands. This is eight wands. Cupid's arrows of love. Coming in here could very well be a love story for you, but all in all, it's major, major breakthrough for you. Serenity. Really, really powerful, my friend. Maybe a cruise? <laughs> I need a vacation? Well, well, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's, it's aces everywhere, honey. It's aces everywhere right here. And I want you to know that you're highly favored of the gods, okay? I want you to know that right there. And if you've been going through some challenging times, this is a major, major breakthrough for you. And if you do go on a cruise, you, you could meet somebody right here. You very well could. But mostly this seems to be about the downloads from a high priestess, like an upgrade. You know, it's very, very powerful. But, uh, you know, flying tigers. What's this say? What's this say? Triumphant news arriving on swift wings. Well, let's take some of that. Anyway, real breakthrough for you, kid. May all your dreams come true. Hope you got some out of that serenity. Love and light, love and light. Know that, know that your ancestors. <laughs> they call you the legend. <laughs> I like that, I like that. All right. And we are with my friend Patricia. Patricia, you still here? Patricia wanted a twin flame reading. Thank you, Serenity. Thank you, my friend. Um, Patricia, are you still here? My Aries friend. Um, want, some, want some love cards? Uh, TF journey, possibly, huh? Um, and we want to see if Libra shows up in it. Yeah. <laughs> we want to see if Libra shows up in your love spread tonight. Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Let's have some fun with a twin flame spread. For Patricia, my Aries friend. All right. Where are we going, love team? Twin flame spread. Well, let's play with Victorian romantic, huh? <laughs> I'm drinking coffee too, Lulu. <laughs> all right, all right. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Getting over an old cough right here. Patricia, my Aries friend. Little twin flame spread, huh? What you got? What you got? What you got for Patricia? Patricia, first card out. Wow, judgment. That's interesting with the twin flame spread. It's big Scorpio energy right there. It is that energy of rebirth. Here... In this judgment card, which is 20 in the Major Arcana, it definitely looks like the gods and the goddesses up there. And um, they seem to be getting ready to put, a, <laughs> you know, they, they, there's a couple right there. You see them? I do. <laughs> and uh, there's some friends celebrating over here. That's a rebirth card. Very interesting, huh? Phoenix from its ashes right here. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. I, I feel fine. I feel fine. Just a little purging going on these days. 
Uh, everybody take care of yourselves. There's an upgrade going on in the collective, if you ask me. All right. All right. Patricia. Patricia. Got judgment, darling. Here we go. Ooh, temperance came out. Oh, uh-oh. There's my earth angel right there. Of course, this is uh, this is Michael, the archangel, huh? Michael, the archangel, you know, the great alchemist, been mixing some cups. Hey, these, these are both uh, reconciliation cards. I'm just saying. My 20 twin. These are both reconciliation cards and a major arcana spread. Hmm. You know, this is the art of allowance, right? It's the art of allowance. It's allowing things to unfold. I know a lot of people grab temperance and go with patience. Yeah. It, it's more than patience, so it, it is the art of allowing nothing but the best from the universe to come for you. Anyway, temperance, judgment. Wow. There's a sun card right there. Now that's powerful, ain't it? There's a sun card. Can be a union card. And, I mean, look at her right there, right? This came out after the Art of Allowance, right? Get outside, get you some fresh air, know that the gods are with you on your journey right here. You know, and look at the little angel. She's like, come on, we're going forward, we're going forward. You know, this journey is all about you. You realizing how amazing you are, right? The sun came out after judgment and temperance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give me a couple more right here for Patricia. Huh? Aries and Libra. Here we go. <laughs> when that moon hits your eye like that big pizza pie, that's a morning. Honey, you got a love story unfolding right here. Just... Enjoy the journey, okay? Enjoy the journey. Don't put too much pressure on it. You know, when we put pressure on it, that slows it down. I know. Go out and spoil yourself. Get your hair done for you. Go get your nails done for you. Go get yourself a little ring or something for you. You know, spoil yourself. Spoil yourself. We got the lovers. Look, look, at, look, at, look at this little angel. Look at this little angel right here in your tarot spread. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Look at that right there. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't even know if I want to pull another card on that. Let's play with uh, the Mystic Moon Oracle, okay? All right. Drum roll, please. <laughs> great faith and great hope and the art of allowance is here. The sun did show up and a little angel pointing out some lovers playing some kissy face, okay? All right, those are lovers in the 3D right there. This is 5D energy. Mm -hmm. The sun, I would say, is 3D energy. About you just loving life and loving you. All right, Patricia, Patricia, just relax with your journey right here. And you know, if it is a twin flame, right, then, uh, <laughs> look at this right here. This looks like a Libra card to me, by the way. I don't know. It says, uh, balancing the scales. Okay, let's put this right here by my earth angel. Balancing the scales. Somebody may be doing some kind of work on themselves right here. This is a shadow work. Definitely twin flame stuff. And that's what I'm saying, you know, you don't put too much pressure on yourself. What I was going to say, you know, you know, twin flame journey, right? Um, it's supposed to be the other part of you, right? Wandering around in the 3D, you know. 
double incarnation, mm -hmm. yin and yang, right? Shadow work, look at this, and balancing the scales. So you can say your friend is actually doing the work. Put that right there on temperance. Oh, look at admired, but admired came out for you, darling. Oh, you look amazing. See, look at the sun right here now. You see this message, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is how, this is how, well, this is how they see you right here, highly admired. I want you to admire yourself. I want you to enjoy the journey. It looks like it's got a happy ending. Hmm. Huh. Oh, look at this. There's some there's some talking right there. It says compromise. What? <laughs> it says compromise on it. Look at this. Shadow work balancing the scales. <laughs> compromise. What? <laughs> oh, lordy. And that's because you're just not putting any pressure on it, allowing it to unfold, loving yourself, spoiling yourself, right? Oh, yeah, inner child, inner child. Somebody's doing the work over here. Somebody's doing the work, right? They're not ignoring. They're not ignoring the shadow aspects anymore. It's really, really powerful. And it says it's because of you, okay? You be this right here. You be this right here. Here we go. Here we go. I don't even know if I want to pull any more. This is a very victorious spread. <clears throat> oh, I got a season card right here. I got a season card, okay? And it may seem like forever in a day, but I'm going to show it to you because it came out with this spread, and it's... Summertime when the living's easy. Could could be a marker right there, right? Signs. Because that goes right here. Signs. Signs. Everywhere's the signs. Anyway. Hope you got some out of that, Patricia. Okay. Enjoy the journey. I, I see a union here, I, but you know, this journey is all about you, right? Don't ever forget that. It's about you. Anyway, anyway, love and light, love and light, love and light. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful spread. That's why I do believe in the old 20 twins. I do, I do, I do. Anyway, anyway, my lovelies, I think, oh, let me see. Let me see. Somebody else may have hollered at me right here. That was my serenity blessing me. All right. Let me shout out everybody. Uh, Carla. Carla, first and foremost. Carla, thank you for your upgrade tonight. Definitely enjoyed reading for you, my friend. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, Cora Brown, thank you, Cora, for your upgrade as well. Uh, may all your dreams come true. We got my Sherry Shoe, 29 months of membership, Sherry. Thank you, my friend. Always enjoy reading for you. Andrea Murray, thanks for hitting that button one more time. Love you too, Andrea. My Serenity, thank you for 10 months of membership. Serenity, hey, all your dreams come true. Who we got right here? My Patricia, my Patricia. Beautiful, beautiful spread. Thanks for grabbing a reading with me tonight. And again, thank you, Serenity, for your blessings tonight. All right, everybody. I had fun. Maybe we'll do Libra tomorrow, huh? Anyway, we'll be playing tarot tomorrow. Let's call it Libra, huh? Let's call it Libra, Libra spread tomorrow night. Uh, 6 p.m. Eastern, set your clocks, all that kind of fun stuff, all my lovelies. May all your dreams come true. I'll see many of you tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Eastern. Let's do Libra. All right, lovelies. Bye for now.